Have you ever wondered how we can reduce the downtime and maintenance costs of machinery? Enter Condition-Based Maintenance, or CBM, a proactive strategy that's transforming the way we maintain equipment. Unlike traditional maintenance approaches that rely on predetermined schedules, CBM is all about being responsive to the actual condition of your machinery. It's like being able to ask your machinery what it wants, rather than deciding on its behalf. This condition-centered approach helps identify potential problems before they escalate, saving you the headache of unexpected downtime and costly repairs. Incorporating advanced monitoring tools and armed with data-driven insights, CBM is all about striking the perfect balance, performing maintenance at just the right moment, neither too early nor too late. Now that we have an idea of what CBM is, let's delve into the key components that make this maintenance approach efficient. The effectiveness of condition-based maintenance lies in three key steps. Namely, the monitoring tools, reviewing the data from those tools, and finally, maintaining and acting on that data. Failing to complete any of those steps, such as forgetting to sample or not reading the reports from the lab, will render any CBM useless. Let's now review these three steps in detail. Firstly, we delve into monitoring tools and techniques, which are required to assess the condition. These are the eyes and ears of condition-based maintenance. Speaking of which, using your physical senses can often help with late on faults if you hear, smell, touch or see something strange, and you should share your findings with your CBM provider, such as your lab. Utilizing an array of CBM techniques and data collection techniques, they keep a vigilant watch over the health of your equipment. Technologies such as vibration analysis, thermography, ultrasonic testing, and of course our favorite oil analysis, play a crucial role here. These tools allow us to capture invaluable data about the state of your machinery, giving us the ability to spot potential issues before they escalate. Next we have data analysis. But what good is all this data if we don't understand what it's telling us? That's where data analytics come into play. By interpreting the collected data, we can decode the language of your machinery. Tools like predictive algorithms allow us to forecast potential failures, turning raw data into actionable insights. However, you can often draw any conclusion with the right statistical method, so use common sense as well when reviewing the data. Any predictions should be simple to replicate and not require complex formulae or rules to understand. The simplest answer is often the right one. Take lube wear rapid acid digestion, for instance. This technique helps us detect wear and tear at an early stage before other CBM techniques, including traditional wear metal analysis, all by simply comparing the wear concentration with and without acid digestion. This gives us how much abnormal wear is present, enabling us to intervene before significant damage occurs. If you pause the video, you can look at a couple of case studies or visit learnoilanalysis.com to see more case studies of lube wear and how this can help your machinery. With oil analysis, we do much of the second step and give you some advice on potential next steps in maintenance. And the fact you are watching this video means you want to build on that understanding too. Finally, we have maintenance strategies. This is where we take the insights gleaned from our data analysis and turn them into corrective actions. It's about planning maintenance activities in a way that minimizes disruption to your operations. The objective is to perform maintenance at just the right moment neither too early to avoid unnecessary work nor too late to prevent a full-blown breakdown. In essence, these three components, monitoring tools and techniques, data analysis and maintenance strategies, work together like a well-oiled machine. They form the bedrock of condition-based maintenance, ensuring optimal equipment health and smooth operations. Now that we understand the components, let's explore the benefits that CBM can bring to your operations. Implementing condition-based maintenance can bring significant benefits to your operations. Imagine the reduction in downtime. By predicting failures through data analysis, maintenance can be scheduled before breakdowns, much like a weather forecast allows you to plan ahead and avoid getting caught in a downpour. A great example is at power stations, monitoring parameters like RPVOT for remaining life of a turbine oil. Then, oil changes can often be planned many months to even years in advance when carefully monitored. Then, there's cost efficiency. It's like having a personal trainer for your machinery, guiding you on when to perform maintenance and preventing unnecessary or premature work. This approach can significantly reduce unexpected repair costs, 
In fact, savings often exceed 10 to 1 compared to traditional reactive maintenance strategies. Don't forget about the potential for extended equipment life. Regular monitoring is akin to going for regular health checkups, helping to prolong the lifespan of your machinery. And lastly, safety and compliance. CBM ensures your equipment is operating safely and within regulatory standards, much like a diligent safety officer keeping watch over your operations. In many tightly regulated industries, there are legal requirements or at least strong industry guidance to perform regular condition monitoring and condition-based maintenance. Examples include marine and aviation as well as power generation and electrical grids. Indeed, in high-risk environments such with risk of explosions, flashpoint monitoring of, for example, thermal fluids working in these environments is a legal HSE requirement in the UK and much of Europe. While the benefits are clear, implementing CBM is not without its small challenges that it will be worth it to overcome. Implementing condition-based maintenance requires careful planning and consideration. This journey begins with the assessment of equipment. It's crucial to identify which pieces of machinery would benefit the most from this approach. This could be equipment that is critical to your operations, or perhaps those that have a history of frequent issues or failures. The next step is technology integration. This involves installing appropriate sensors and data collection devices on the chosen equipment. These might be devices for vibration analysis, thermography, oil analysis, or ultrasonic testing. In oil analysis, it might be installing a sampling point tap for ease of sampling if a dipstick or other access point is not available. Each piece of equipment may require a different set of tools, so it's important to select the right technology based on the nature of the equipment and the failure modes you're looking to prevent. For example, generally vibration sensors are common on rotating machinery like bearings, motors and gearboxes, but seldom used on reciprocating equipment like engines or anything not stationary like vehicles or construction equipment. Lab analysis works on anything with a fluid like lubricant, insulating fluid, grease, fuel, coolant, adblue or filters, but would not be suitable for regular monitoring of an electric motor that has little to no lubricant that you can send for testing. However, in failure analysis, the lab may be able to assist with root cause of failure analysis of the individual failed component even without lubricant available to test. Once the technology is in place, the focus shifts to training and skills development. Staff need to be equipped with the skills to not only operate the monitoring tools, but also interpret the data they generate for tools like vibration, thermography, and acoustics. With oil analysis, training is typically on how to collect a good sample. The lab performs the actual testing and analysis and reports its findings, so the learning curve and initial investment are actually quite low, as it's usually just some sample bottles. You can still benefit from additional training in which the LearnOilAnalysis.com materials are great free resources on building your knowledge in the field. Remember, it's the insights from the CBM data that will guide your maintenance activities, so choosing in the right training is as important as choosing the right technology. Implementing condition-based maintenance isn't without its challenges, but trust me, the rewards will be worth it. The initial investment can be substantial, covering the cost of sensors, software, and training for vibration, acoustics, and thermography. Then, there's the potential for data overload, particularly for live streams of data from equipment. With sensors continuously monitoring and generating data, managing and interpreting this information effectively can be a daunting task. And let's not forget the challenge of technology dependence. The accuracy and functionality of your monitoring tools are critical, so any malfunction or error could disrupt your maintenance strategy. Thankfully, with lab analysis, all of these issues are handled by the lab for you, so it makes it often much simpler in many respects. And the ease of starting is the easiest by far of all the CBM disciplines. Naturally, a combination of techniques gives you the best coverage. So if you can then use a combination of CBM technologies, for example, oil and vibration analysis, grease and thermography analysis or insulating oil dissolved, gas analysis and ultrasound monitoring of electrical components, you have room to really hone in on a particular fault or issue. But if that is not practical and you have to pick just one technology and you are looking for the best all-rounder, that is simple to implement and to cover all the bases, then oil analysis wins hands down. That is why billions of samples are taken every year to test the condition of machinery all over the world. The future of condition-based maintenance looks promising, but you don't have to wait for the future, because the now is pretty good too. 
it has never been a better time to start a CBM strategy in your business. As technology continues to advance and data analytics become more sophisticated, the potential for this maintenance strategy to revolutionize industries is immense. So, while the road to implementation may have a few small bumps, mainly on the will to implement the strategy, as with any change in an organization, the destination promises to be worth the journey. Looking ahead, condition-based maintenance is set to play a pivotal role in promoting sustainable and efficient maintenance practices. As industries worldwide continue to evolve, the focus on sustainability is becoming increasingly important. CBM, with its ability to detect potential issues before they arise, aids in reducing energy waste and extending equipment lifespan, contributing to a greener, more eco-friendly approach to maintenance. Moreover, advancements in technology with improving technologies every day. In lab analysis, the speed of turnaround and accuracy at detecting failures took a monumental leap in 2018 with the invention of lubeware and oil analysis. Tribological testing is aiding with wiser lubricant selection choices for our customers. This continuous innovation is empowering CBM to deliver even greater cost efficiencies, reduced downtime, and improved equipment longevity. In conclusion, condition-based maintenance represents a modern, intelligent approach to managing equipment health. Its potential to revolutionize the way we perform maintenance is immense. In a world where efficiency and sustainability are paramount, condition-based maintenance is undoubtedly a strategy worth considering for your maintenance needs. If you would like to share your stories of how your business implemented CBM or have tips for others just starting out, please use the comments. Also, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe and tell a friend about this video.